my dad is uh my dad was a good dude, man. I say that now because uh, he's a good dude now, and you just forget shit. Like my dad used to smoke crack, like a lot, a lot of crack. He was good at it, and <laughs> he's like a professional. He used to tell me, "I'm not a crack addict. I am a drug user." I was like, "That's, that's not better, fam." That's <laughs> but I didn't know when I was younger that. His drug use used to make him do weird shit. Like I would call him and ask him questions and he would give me the answer that would get me off the phone the fastest. It didn't make any difference to him whether that shit had anything to do with what I asked him. Like I called him one time and said, hey dad, um, how come we have different last names? He was like, yeah, the tie goes to the runner and hung the phone up. <laughs> the fuck does that have to do with our name? Sir, that's a weird ass answer. And he never corrected that shit. My mom used to spank me and uh, I feel like she had a disadvantage because I used to really like my dad because he never spanked me. And as I'm older now, I realize that's because he wasn't there. And, <laughs> but some of that shit was traumatic. Like one time when I was 12, I got a D on my report card, right? Now I know going home is going to be bad. So I walk home real slow and I'm shuffling my feet and I'm praying for her to get in a car accident before I get home. <laughs> Not some old permanent shit, just like, you know, something to keep her in the hospital for nine weeks so I can bring that grade back up before I get my ass whipped. <laughs> So I get home and I'm like, well, she's gonna make it home. I have to think of a plan B. And my plan B was to change the D to a B with a pen. Huh? She came home, I delivered that shit with a flourish. She was like, let me see your report card. I was like. <laughs> and I thought I had it for a second. She read it, she was like, A, B, Scott, A, A, oh my God, B. Boy, what the fuck is this? I was like, that's a B. She was like, you think I'm a motherfucking fool? You better get your simple ass upstairs and take your pants off. I was like, okay. And I go upstairs and I'm doing a sniffle thing before you already get this. <laughs> so I get to the top of the stairs and the angel pops up on my shoulder. He's like, hey fam, you bigger than her. You don't have to take this shit. <laughs> He's like, you are right. I'm physically dominant. And then one popped up on my left shoulder and he was like, hey, your mother's an Ethiopian immigrant. She'll fucking kill you and won't give a shit. I was like, he almost got me, fam. He almost got me. And then he was like, hey, man, fuck that weak shit, man. He being a pussy. He was like, why would you call me weak and a pussy? Like, pussies are weak. Pussies have babies in this snap back into place. You should have called me weak ass balls because if you have some balls and you just graze them motherfuckers, motherfucker be knocked out for two hours. Why won't you call me weak balls? And he would say, see, that's that dumb ass feminist shit. And he was like, it's called intersectionality. Read a book. And while they were arguing, my mother came in and swung the belt. And I was like, this is rude. Why she gonna interrupt that argument? So I caught the belt and it... Oh shit, I done caught the belt. Uh... But I'm cool, I got my angels, they got my back, right? So I look at my angels, my angels then disappeared. These little motherfuckers, weak ass balls. So now, <laughs> I look at my mom, she look at me, she was like, shh, I'm gonna call your daddy. <sighs> I'm not bigger or taller than him. Uh, but I thought about it for just a second, I was like, you know what, if I let go of this belt, there's a 100% chance she's gonna kill me. But he's still getting hot, there's only a 50-50 chance he's gonna answer the phone. Fuck it, call him, I don't give a shit, call him. Call him right now, you wanna use my phone? You wanna use it? Call him, I don't give a shit. I'm not letting go of this belt, call him. And she called him. This motherfucker answers the phone. <laughs> my poor dainty mother loses her shit. I've never heard her like this. My mom was like, let me tell you so much, your little punk ass son. I was like, oh my God. So I guess his little balls to drop. I was like, first of all, you wait late. That shit happened last, like three months ago. <laughs> Just, she was like, this motherfucker balls to drop because he had the nerve to bring home a D. You know I slapped the shit out of him for a C, but a D? A motherfucking D? I should have punched him in his dick as soon as he walked in the door with that bullshit. <laughs> Second of all, this motherfucker nuts to drop to the middle of his thigh because when he came home with the D, he ain't even have man enough balls to do this shit. He gonna change the D to a B. A motherfucker B, this simple motherfucker used blue ink on a black report card. I should have knocked his ass the fuck out right then. Third of all, his nuts to dropped all the way down to his knees because when I go upstairs to tear this motherfucker ass up, he gonna catch the belt on me. I should have tied that motherfucker around his neck and knocked him out the goddamn way and choked him to death. But instead, I called your punk ass. So what the fuck is we gonna do about your son? <laughs> and my dad said, uh, the tie goes to the runner and hung the phone up. So, <laughs> shout out to my dad.